John, you go to University of Texas, you're a graduate student, you're working on your PhD, uh, which Jimmy Dore used to bust your chops over all the time. Um, so those were fun days. Uh, <laughs> You, whenever you mentioned it, Jimmy would be like, "Oh yeah, I'm working on my PhD too. Yeah, <laughs> I'm working on." It. Uh, <laughs> anyway, what was it on, John? Uh, I mean, what it ended up being on was I was basically doing work to try to map how political value systems are developed. What are the things um, that influence the development of people's system of values that give rise to political ideology, basically. Um, and I was combining some previous work because a lot of work has been done over the past 100 years on that with, I thought, some pretty novel um, sort of ways of measuring some of these things with people who are younger doing work on college students and stuff like that. Um, it, anything more than that, it's not gonna be particularly interested. It also, it seems like a past life, honestly. Like I, it's hard for me to even put myself back in that world and think that that was what I was planning on doing was becoming a professor, writing and all of that. That just seems so long ago now. Even just eight years, it feels like far more. You know, come to think of it, that could have been useful research. Yeah. <laughs> like, as it turned out, how people developed their political ideology became giantly important as. Donald Trump created a cult that took over the uh, the country for at least four years, and and that that's just an amazing phenomenon that that people will study for a long time. So uh, so I disagree though. I disagree. Can I jump in for a second? <laughs> um, hold on. No, because like whatever. Like let's let's assume that John made the horrible mistake of continuing with his PhD education rather than making the move into TYT. Right. Whatever. A thesis he completed would be so outdated and so irrelevant at this point. Because remember, this is at a time when social media is not really a factor. Yeah. So like you made the right decision, John. Don't let don't let Jenk discourage you. Okay, continue. <laughs> if I wasn't <laughs> I wasn't doing that. Anyway. He would have failed. It would have sucked anyway. It was a good thing you took that one parachute you had, because no more was coming. <laughs> no, I guarantee you right now, you would have been Professor Idarola at either University of Wisconsin or UC Santa Barbara, something like that. Um, so anyways, um, and I'm gonna get back to you on, on your majors in a second. But John, when you're deciding to leave the PhD program at a great university like University of Texas, right? Uh, and, and to come to this podunk, uh, you know, internet show, uh, that could barely pay you and for and oh in like a job that's not perfectly you know determined right as to which direction it's going to take who did you talk to did you talk to your parents did you talk to your oh, did you have a girlfriend at the time etc and did they tell you you're nuts or cuz that's a big big decision my parents would have taken my head off if i made a decision like that yeah, well, I mean, my, my father had already passed at that point. My mom is just, she's supportive of whatever I do. She's never gonna like tell me, no, that's a terrible idea or judge it or anything like that. I probably talked with a couple of my friends. I don't think I was dating anyone um, at that point, partially because all of my social time was put into uh, making videos for Anna. The only time I would go to a party <laughs> was when she told me, you have to go film at a party. So I would go for her. No, I actually, I went, I'm not gonna name names. I went on basically a first date. I took this girl to a party, but I spent so much time filming at it that I didn't really spend any time with her. So she started talking to my friend Ryan, and they dated for years after that. And it was Anna's <laughs> fault. I was really into her, and I didn't pay her any attention because I'm asking people questions with a camcorder for Anna. <laughs> okay. First of all, young Turks breaking up relationships <laughs> for 18 straight years now. Uh, JR told the story of how he broke up with a girlfriend because he's like, man, you guys pick TYT over relationships. That's a hell of a thing. Um, so I remember why it was, I, if I remember right, it wasn't Anna, it was me who made you go to the party. You didn't know that. Is it really? But yeah, because my recollection, Anna, is that I was like, Hey, are these kids ever gonna have fun in college? Can we get like, yeah? Can we get a party yeah. shot? Sure. Yeah, that's that makes I, sense. I remember correctly. Yeah, you're you're remembering it correctly. Jank wanted like in the beginning years of TYT, there was like this constant like tension between me and Jank over like fun. 
Jenk wanted more fun. He's like, you're young and lively and you should be doing fun content. Like, why do you want to talk about like for profit colleges? What's wrong with you? So like every every episode of TYT University was like for profit colleges, they, <laughs> they're bad and you shouldn't do it. And he's like, Anna, Anna, we're can you what but this is a it's about university. Can we at least have a little bit of fun? So yeah, you're right. And um you were right. You were right at the time. I was. I was the Debbie Downer. And uh, but by the way, for-profit colleges are still bad. Stay away from them. That's true. <laughs> sure. yeah, yeah. But look, that's the thing. It's balance, right? John, to, just to finish the story. So, did you consult with anyone? What did they say? And yeah, and, and that's an insane decision. So, how did you come to that conclusion, or why? I mean, look, it's it was a long process, and honestly, like part of it isn't. Isn't specifically about TYT. It was more of a question of, am I going to continue with grad school or not? And if I'm not, what will I do? Um, if I've decided that I'm leaving, then going to TYT makes arguably as much sense as any of the other paths I was going to take. I mean, talk about dodging a bullet. Um, in undergrad, I was in uh, Air Force ROTC. I was getting ready to go into the Air Force officer school to, you know, be a navigator or something like that. And I ended up not doing it because I decided I wanted to go to grad school. A couple of years into grad school, I decided I didn't really, I didn't really like it. I wasn't really quite fitting in the way I thought about politics. wasn't quite as research focused and academic and all of that. And so I pursued once again going into the Air Force. I did everything I was supposed to do. My case officer submitted some financial information late, and that meant that I couldn't go to the officer training school for the session I was supposed to. I'd have to wait six more months. And in that six months, I started doing videos for for TYT. Um, so if I hadn't, I might have pursued and gone into the Air Force actually. So um, yeah, no, I loved grad school. It was great. Hypothetically, I could have finished it. I wanted to, but I, it just wasn't a perfect fit. I wanted something more real and immediate and impactful rather than just doing research that hypothetically has something to say. But I just, I, and remember, I was listening to TYT years before I went to grad school. So there was always this big disconnect. Between those two different areas of politics, and this was how I reconciled them. Could have been Corporal Idrola. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that. All you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.